All right, I had this uh, adapter here. It converts VGA into HDMI. And uh, for whatever reason, I ended up with two of these. <laughs> and I wanted to open, I wanted to open one of them just to see what was inside. I'm expecting just to see a single chip, but I found something very interesting when I opened this one up. So it's kind of a clamshell. And let's see if we can't open it up without destroying things here. I think this needs to come out. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, anybody see anything wrong with this? <laughs> this is like how not to manufacture your parts. See that big blob of solder there? <laughs> this is giant splash of solder on the uh, on the connector here. Um, yeah, see that? Just <laughs> big, big, big splash of solder. It's pretty amazing. Let's get that rid of that. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that was the most obvious thing that I saw to begin with was this big giant giant blob of solder on the thing. Um, and then I started looking around. I went, oh, wait a minute, look at look at this crystal. Look at how high <laughs> look at how high up the board that crystal is. Um, so yeah, electrically, I guess it still works, but. Um, you never want to have something that can be a, a, a wiggle back and forth that'll break off if, it, if you know after a while. But um, maybe they were having problems with it shorting when it was down on the board. I didn't said, yeah, don't put it down on the board. Or maybe the person who made that big splash of solder was the person who put down the <laughs> put down the crystal. Maybe it was the last thing that was. I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is a bit crooked too. It's not really, anyway. Yeah, I just thought the big splash of solder was, was a fun show and tell for the day. And then the, uh, uh, let's see here, let me, let's be scientific about this. How far, how far off of, yeah, it's over five millimeters off the, <laughs> off the board. Might lower that one down. Uh, but anyway, uh, so how's this thing work? Yeah, well, VGA comes in, RGB. And goes into this chip and then it comes out HDMI and looks like there's two regulators here I don't know why there's two there's probably a 5 volt regulator and then a th followed by a 3.3 .3 volt regulator let's see if that's a intelligent guess or not oh 1.8 3.3 okay this one's a 3.3 .3 and that one's a 1.8 1 I can never get used to these new chips using such low voltages I'm very, very old school. Uh, let's see if we can't read this. Oh, it's very, very small. I think I'll put it under the microscope. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put it up here in the corner uh, what uh, part number this uh, what part number this chip was. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of uh, capacitors and a few resistors. Uh, nothing, nothing on the bottom side, and then there's this extra, extra chip here. Hmm. I wonder what the extra chip was for. Uh, what? I can't really quite figure it out. It's coming from here. Maybe it's some kind of level conversion or something that, for some other type of interface. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Uh, quality manufacturing at its finest.